everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Olympic silver medalist Yoel Romero. It's amazing to think he hasn't had a UFC belt around his waist. Most people think, or I should say, some people think he did enough to beat Robert Whitaker back in the day, but this is still one of the best middleweights on planet. He's one of the most naturally talented guys that I've ever met. From the moment I met him back in the wrestling days, way back around 2001, you understood that you were looking at something special in Yoel Romero. And although he started his career very late, I knew that he would get to this point. Now that he has developed that quick knockout ability, couple that with his wrestling, and you have one of the perennial middleweight top contenders. Hard to find a lot of glaring weaknesses when you study the film on Yoel Romero. Some might knock the cardio, but seems to get his breathers in there in a 25-minute fight. And you've heard past opponents like Luke Rocco, Robert Whitaker talk about literally kicking Stone. a man of steel. He's stoned. Yoel Romero, folks, here he is. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Yoel, Soldier of God, Romero. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, get into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a clear weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Just out of range with the big right hand. And that one was heavy. Just a 
over three minutes to go. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Body kick now by Lee. Oh, no wasted motion there, Romero. All right, so a high ball, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again, and this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponents. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, he mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Berkeley out has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yoel. Soldier of God, Romero! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world.